Strong. A strong woman. Hey guys, welcome back to Bak Bak Bouquet. If you're watching this today on a Sunday, that means that we got married yesterday because we're filming this with the anticipation that we're going to schedule this video to come out, well, today, Sunday, um, February 4th. Yeah, and this will come out one week later. This is the Sunday beforehand, so... It's we're because actually, we're going to be in Mexico. Yeah, we, we, we fly out tomorrow to Mexico to prepare for our wedding week. All of our guests are arriving mostly on, like... Thursday, some people on Friday, some people on Wednesday, but we want to get there ahead of time to get some of our last minute stuff we have to buy and prepare for the wedding. So we're filming this ahead of time for you. It's one week ahead if you're watching this. But yeah, we'll be flying out there in a week early and getting everything ready. And uh, luckily um, we have our hemp bedding there. And then just in time, if you move that out of the way, we got our chicken feed that we just about ran out a couple days ago and it came just in time right before we have to leave. Scratch and Peck Organic Feet gets delivered right to our doorstep. Well, they still have uh, the old logo right here. They yep. recently rebanded. In fact, once this is the it, new logo right here. Go open up that box and I don't even know if it's gonna be yeah. the new design or not. Oh, well, let's see, okay. But uh, yeah, it got delivered just today. We went out to lunch and now uh, it's here. Now to lunch with my brother. Susie, yeah, and our niece brother, Danielle. my brother and sister in law, soon to be, yeah, legally, that is. But yeah, the chickens are waiting for the new we're feed. Oh, uh, okay, so it's still the old logo. Oh, it so, is the old logo. So they are rebranding their, their logo, and so they did tell us that they're gonna start yeah. liquidating these old designs. Because nothing to goes to waste to and the feed isn't old or anything, but... Yeah, it's not old feed, but uh, yeah. just with the new year and all that, they started going with the new design, like yeah. Kelly's sweater. But there. to be non-wasteful and self-sustaining, of course, we're not going to just throw out the old logo until they, it's got its full use, so... Yeah, I mean, who knows, maybe that second box is a new logo, but anyway, um, we're going to... Refill all their chicken feeders, their we waterers. We gotta refill the waters and we're actually gonna rake out and clean out all the chicken poo, maintain our deep litter method. We gotta mix it and add some new hemp bedding on top of it. So our pet sitter, our house sitter, cause we got horses and goats and all these chickens and our dogs, you know, so the, everything is just perfect and easy for them. They have less to do. I'm pretty sure they won't have to refill any of the waters or feeders while we're gone because, you know, with the five gallon, uh, we have many five gallon waters around and their feeder, I think holds like 25 pounds of feed. It should be good the whole time they're gone. So we'll just tell, we told them that they, to just check it every day and make sure all the chickens are locked up at night. So everything's good. We're hoping the pet sitter won't have to do anything. My parents, are our usual house sitters but they're of course are going to be attending the wedding so we have somebody else coming here i'm a well then your parents are going to go in a couple of days later yeah than us, so they're going be here for a they're going days, thursday so. through monday so that's not very much time the pet sitter will be here so the rest of the time we're gone my parents will be here be able to watch everything but luckily our pet sitter is a girl that i was in 4-h with i'm a 4-h alumni if you all know what 4-h is that's why i grew up raising chickens pigs steer cattle like lambs goats and everything so she has chickens she has pigs she's familiar with everything i feel fully confident i know her that everything will be taken well care of okay and well, the guys want their feeders refill so let's get to it huh freckles tell your mama oh freckles are you really in charge today okay ron you get the day off you get the day um, off buddy i mean they got feet in their feeder but um we ended up using the pellet. We were just using whatever we had left, and now they're going to get back the, what yeah. do you call it, the crumble? Back in the day, I used to love to feed pellets, but I've been really loving Scratch and Peck's mash formula. The pellets, of course, you know, they seem to last longer, but I, I really like their mash. Most chicken brand companies, I wasn't a fan of the mash. I used to feed pellets, but Scratch and Peck's, I love their mash formula. Well, say less. Let's go. Yeah. Let's put our boots on. All right. All right. And because Ladies. they think I have a snack on me, they're gonna all attack me over there. We're not really attacking, but they're all gonna follow me. So I'm gonna put some of the feet over here. This is our hack. On this chick neck picnic table. Ricardo builds these. We actually have a video in our um, DIY playlist on how to build one of these yourself. It's a picnic table, chick neck table. And we love so it. That's not really where they eat, but that's just like their snack table right now. I'm distracting them so that we can come in here and refill the feeder. The table's good for feed. Um, we like to put 
watermelon papaya on there or even like if you get one of those like molasses feed blocks what do they call it for wild bird su suet su suet i don't remember but suet i think <laughs> Yeah, we but see, now we got a couple chickens here instead of. Yeah. Oh, look at them over there. That would be them over here right now if I didn't do that. Yep. Just to disperse the crowd. That's right, create a little distraction. Exactly, should I disperse them? And there's Ron and one of the little Duclays. I'm surprised Monkey's not over here. She's always first in line. And hey, I think that's the one that just flew out, or was it the other one? Oh, we haven't even told them. Um, we'll have, we're going to post a short on our channel, but we'll show you right here. She flew on our, my parents' roof the other day. We're a uh, two-acre property, so my parents live in the front house and we're in the back house. She flew on my parents' roof. From like right here? Yeah, from here <laughs> all the way up onto the roof. And Ricardo had to get on well, a huge I ladder. I walked outside of the door and I don't know if they all got excited because they always think I have a snack on me. And then all the chickens ran up, and then that little one flew from here all directly the over the there. netting. They say chickens can't fly. Roof. She flew. It's because she's so light and weight. Most heavy body, big ladies, they could never do that. Let me but, see. I forget which one it was. But because she's a bantam, it was, it was, it was this one. Okay. It was her. So uh, we should probably clip her wings then while we, we're here. We're gonna be gone for two weeks. So you we don't did. want anything to happen while we're it gone. It was you, little Shane. Yeah, it was that one. All right, but yeah, we should probably clip um, her wings so she doesn't get out. Yeah, I would hate for something to happen while Only because, I mean, we're not going to be here, so we won't have an eye on them. And I worry. I know the pet sitter's going to do just fine, but the dat's not going to be She won't know if one little Millie is missing. Oh. Their names are Millie and Flora, but we kind of confuse them because they molted and now they look more alike. So they're both Millie or Flora. To be <laughs> I call them both Millie. Because like here's the other one. And they look pretty identical. Huh. One's more white. Are you cool, baby? And one's got bigger feet. The one with the smaller feet is you the one that flew cool, on the roof. Baby. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the one with the smaller feet then. Oh, that was that one's got way more feathers. Yeah, it was her so that flew on the roof. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Make sure you don't get too close, otherwise they do have blood, usually like closer to the root and you don't want them to bleed, but I'm just going to clip these long flight feathers. Yeah, right now she's just squirming because she just wants down to get some food, but All right, and that'll be good. painful. See, easy and done. Yeah, and then Kelly was just saying that we should do the other one anyway. <laughs> so if you want to do her okay. right now as well. These other big ladies are too big to fly that, that high up on the ceiling. Cleo! But these ones... You can't get up nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Come on. Yeah, the scissors okay, with you? It's okay. Yeah, they're in my pocket, babe. Alright. Calm down. Calm down. I don't want you to be scared. Not a bad experience. Come on. Give me the wing. Do you want to just do one or two? Just both. Do them both. I, I I don't know why I'm not a fan of that. Maybe it's my OCD or what, but I'd rather just... That'll be good. I was asking because uh, some people say that you only clip one wing just to kind of throw them off balance when they do try to fly. So I guess that was my thinking, but yeah, I guess she decided to do both. That's all right. All right. It'll work. They got a new fresh cut. You guys good, ladies? Yeah. They want the num nums. <laughs> Cleo, you first dibs. Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo. That's my interpretation of Cleo's and, talking. Oh. Oh, what happened? They almost got scared. You scared him with your. Oh. He actually had a hawk here the other day. I heard them all yell, and usually it's nothing. And I come out here, and I couldn't believe it. There was a hawk perching here on our monkey bars, and our little. Frizzle Polish Juanita was just standing right here next to it. So I came out here, scared it away, and we locked them all away for a few hours. I haven't seen the hawk since, but I like to get some bird netting over here, so hopefully that won't happen again. But usually we have a bunch of ravens that live here, and the ravens keep the hawks away. They are very devout in keeping the hawks away. We saw them battle them in the air multiple times, and I'm pretty confident in our ravens, but that scared me, and 
I think we should probably do some about it, but, but it's, it's but, been like a month. I was going to say, but that's also why we have like a shade cloth right here. Yeah. And then that's it why they're so close to our here. house. Because uh, if we hear any sort of scuffle or noise, yeah. we look out this window and we could immediately rush out here if we need to. It hasn't happened with the exception of that hawk that was sitting there, but everyone Luckily, was okay. Everyone was Luckily, okay. Yep. And the hawk was tiny. It was about the size of that Millie. It was this little thing. It kind of blows my mind that they hurt chickens. Like, but... It, it was here and I was scared and I scared it away and it hasn't been back since. Probably the ravens keep it away. I, I They kick their butt in the air, man. Those ravens are tough. But I seen a hawk a couple months ago actually with a poor thing, a, a dead dove in its leg um, in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, that was pretty sad, but you know, that's the circle of life. You know, nature's got to eat. You know what else is yeah. sad? No. That we're gonna have to clean the yard right now. <laughs> yeah. But let, let's get to raking. We want to leave the yard looking good for our pet sitter. So um, let's get the rake, the shovel, a mask, and let's go. See, Kelly's already sad thinking about having to clean. I'm thinking about how cute our Niffy <laughs> is. I saw a baby photo of her <laughs> pass up on my Facebook memories. It was a couple years ago today that she was a baby. You're a baby, Niffler. Yeah. You skittish right now? Ooh, I couldn't get her. Always make sure you're wearing a mask while you're doing something like this because you can see all that dust blowing. You don't want to be sniffing all that in there, inhaling it into your lungs. There's actually some danger I've seen on the chicken Facebook groups. People have come down with histoplasmosis. It's not something to joke with, so. And a layer of the my favorite chicken hemp bedding. It's got aromatic herbs and it keeps everything smelling super nice. Whew. Want us to be fresh and clean for our pet sitter, you know? We gotta impress them. We can't let them know how chickens really live. Again, they have chickens, I know. <laughs> let us be perfect. And it's not only Kelly working back there. I've been raking over here behind the scenes. I just gotta film and work. So it's not just Kelly doing all the heavy work. I almost think they like playing in the puddle on the ground more than the new pool. That's <laughs> true. I have to do the pool first because if I do the water bucket second, they're going to get that dirty because they'll be obsessed with playing with it. So go to your own pool. Hey, we got a duck in the pool already. It's not even filled all the way yet. That's Boo. It's not even ready yet. Boo, what are you doing? <laughs> all right we got some fresh clean water thanks to the mama yeah that's a wrap here comes ron he's come always coming me come sasquatch on, buddy. but yeah we got the run and the waters and the feeders all filled up for our pet sitter i think she's gonna be just fine the ducks are now swimming in their new pool that was full but it's already like half full because they've been playing Look, look at all the mess they made. And they flap. They, they flap play. around and they splash everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> they made a big old mess. Yeah, everything should be ready to go. All the feeders are full. Three little birds. The waters are full, like I said. We are currently on our honeymoon. If this came out today, that means that we're not home and we're on our honeymoon somewhere in Cancun or Isla Mujeres. We should be back by next weekend with a brand new video. We just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on this video. And then Kelly's going to say something as well hopefully <laughs> i can see we're getting ready i'm getting ready hopefully the we can show you some of our wedding it should be really fun it's in mexico we're gonna have mariachis and his whole family that lives there is gonna be there we're gonna be dancing by love well we're getting married in guadalajara mexico mm -hmm. jalisco where actually the music mariachi was invented so we couldn't just not have my a mariachi <laughs> band playing at our wedding so we're yeah. gonna do that some of our Followers have been asking if we're gonna post a video of our wedding and we'll try. We'll I don't know. I was gonna so say busy. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do that, but maybe other stay people will have like little clips and we can like patch it together or something. Well, we're gonna have a photographer and a videographer there, so maybe we could publish that, but that's a big maybe. We'll see. Yeah. If you guys wanna watch it, I guess leave it in the comments. I don't <laughs> yeah. even know if you guys wanna see well, some people any of already that. mentioned it. But, but if you do, I guess leave it in the comments yeah, and I'm so we might be post Mrs. our wedding. Ramos. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, which we'll actually means bouquet in Spanish, and that's hence the name of our 
channel because we always knew that. That's right. We were so bok bok for the chickens, and then we started doing some gardening around the yard. And my last name being Ramos, which means bouquet. So bok bok bouquet, and Kelly's yeah. now gonna be a Ramos as well. Oh yeah, bouquet. So uh, stay tuned. Like I said, if you do want to see some of the wedding video, leave it in the comments below. We may or may not post that, but yeah. uh, big old maybe. So yeah. thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see Thank you guys you so next much. week. Have a good Bye. one.